I am not so naive to think that all of this weight loss is actual body fat. Welcome to From Fluffy to Foxy, a weight loss transformation and information channel. Welcome to the first midweek weigh-in of the new year. Last video, we did the very first weigh-in of the new year taken on Monday, the 1st of January. That weigh-in was done on the actual 1st of January, so on Monday. And it is Thursday, January 4th, and we're doing the first midweek weigh-in. Uh, going forward, all of the weigh-ins are going to be taken actually on Sunday and Wednesday. So Sunday will be the end of week weigh-in, and Wednesday will be the midweek weigh-in. The only difference this week was because I actually wanted the very first weigh-in of the new year to start on New Year's, which was a Monday. So that's the only change for this week. But going forward, it'll be Sunday and Wednesday. So let's get into the data for the midweek weigh-in. So for the midweek weigh-in, uh, this week, um, I have just weighed myself today and I am at 260.0 pounds. And let's be fair. Anybody who's on a weight loss journey, as soon as you see anything, especially on the five or 10 pound mark, if you see the point zero, what's your first reaction? Let me know in the comments because what my first reaction was, why couldn't have it have been 0.1 pounds lower so that I could be in the 250s? So I know right now that even at the beginning of my weight loss journey, the psychology factor of my previous weight loss journeys is already full effect. So I have to make sure that that's not going to be something going forward that's going to be impacting my weight loss journey because just 0.1 pounds and I was like, really, you couldn't have been just 0.1 pounds so I could be in the 250s. So I'm going to have to watch that because I was down two pounds in three days and I wasn't disappointed, but it was something that I was very acutely aware of my reaction to that, and I wanted to be in the 250s. And mind you, even though I have lost two pounds in three days, I am not so naive to think that all of this weight loss is actual body fat. Most of it is probably water weight, because when you first start losing weight, the first thing that you lose is water weight, not actual body fat. So I'm pretty sure that it is actual water weight and not body fat. But as we go through my data from my run through scale, you'll see some numbers that actually are pretty funny. So let's take a look at the measurements from the scale that show the actual data um, from the measurements and actually from the uh, slide data. So here we've got information from the actual data here that shows fat information for both uh, subcutaneous fat and visceral fat and proteins and water and all that information on here, as well as information for the uh, main screen of the actual um, Renfu page. Um, this is just a breakdown of the actual information on the, the um, page itself. What I'm more interested in showing you is the actual comparison from the last way in to today. And that's what I'm going to get into now. It's actually going to show the breakdown from what it was the last way in to this way in. And it's actually pretty funny. So as you can see here, I've got the comparison slide up and I've got two graphs. One of them shows the weight graph and that shows the plateau the ink from when I originally started to the very first video weigh-in, then the second video weigh-in where I went up just a little over a pound and now that I'm down two pounds. So that shows you how the graph is now. And the second one graph shows you body fat loss. So it's, again, straight for when I was in that plateau, then the increase, and then the decrease. And I don't believe that the weight I've lost is actually 0.5% body fat. I believe it would be water weight. But when you look at the comparison slide and you check the water information, you'll actually see that water has, body water has gone up. <laughs> so even though um, I believe that it's 
quote unquote water weight that I've lost, not actual body fat. You'll actually see that the water in my body has gone up, not down. So who knows, maybe I have lost two pounds of actual body fat. So this is where we stand at the midpoint of the week. These midpoint weigh-ins are likely going to be a lot shorter than the end of the week, unless there's something that uh, dramatically impacts the scale weight or uh, dramatically impacts my uh, weight loss journey in itself, such as an event or uh, a binging episode or something along those lines that may have impacted something. I'm going to be very candid if those happen. Uh, so if any of those happen, I'll be sure to mention it. But other than that, these ones are likely just going to be a short little update on how the week has gone so far and where it's sitting at the moment. So far, nothing to report as far as the week's gone. It's gone pretty, pretty okay. But uh, maybe we'll have a bit of a bigger update come the end of the week. <laughs> so until next time, stay amazing.